Continuing, I saw this report last week, but now there's more out on it from Salon, National Geographic, and others. Shrimp on Prozac are killing themselves. A study shows that drug traces in our water, in our wastewater, can affect marine life behavior. But can crustaceans have feelings? And in major prestigious reports, uh, government studies find that shrimp are just swimming right up to birds and being eaten. They're overconfident. They've had their governors removed. They've had their compulsions uh, removed. They've had their fear level. And this is what the studies when they approved Prozac in 81 had shown. That's why it's now on the drug insert. That, oh, yeah, most of the time you're going to be having a great time. It's a hallucinogen. It's in a psychotropic uh, category. But some days if you get angry or you don't take the right amount of the medication or you try to go off of it or you mix it with other things, you will break and go in and kill 20 people at a school or you'll chop your baby's arms off or you'll put your kids all in their car seats, chain them in and drive them off a cliff. In every case, in every case, they've always been on it. And I've talked to so many police. They say they'll pull up it to a call and there'll be a beautiful naked woman. In one case, a cop told me about cutting herself with butcher knives on the roof. And then she'll just jump off the roof, breaking her legs. She's on Prozac or a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. And they found the same thing with shrimp. Shrimp will just come up and start attacking crabs when the crabs are just going to eat them. Or they will... They will just come up to the surface and not be afraid. Their inhibitions have been taken away. And it goes on. A uh, study shows that drug traces in our waste. Uh, here's the National uh, Geographic. Prozac pollution making shrimp reckless. Antidepressants key ingredient is flushed into coastal water, study says. Well, yeah, think about it. Houston, 6 million people metro. You got upwards of 15% on Prozac. Most of it's passed through the body. You got all those other towns. All the major water supplies end up from the entire company dumping out in the Gulf of Mexico or on the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean out of these rivers and estuaries. And you've got the shrimp, and that's what the studies have found. They're, they're, they're just full of it. But then there's all the drugs and chemicals and fluoride and pesticides that are also running into the water. And AP did a study two years ago finding they found levels of serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Prozac is, you know, the main brand name of one of the variants at levels many times higher than should be there from simple runoff from sewage. They're adding it to the water. And then I have Fox News clips promoting Prozac in the water and statins and lithium. So here's the news flash. They're already doing it. OK, there's no happy ending for shrimp exposed to mood booster Prozac. Remnants of antidepressant drugs flush into waterways worldwide are altering shrimp behavior and making them easier prey, experts say. To mimic conditions in the wild, scientists expose the estuary-dwelling shrimp to the antidepressant uh, fluorexetine or fluoxetine at levels. It's just a fluoride. That's what Prozac is, is a fluoride molecule derivative, scientists have said on the show. At levels detected in average sewage treatment waste, and it goes on to say... Fluoxetine is the key ingredient in the drugs Prozac and Seraphim. Shrimp normally gravitate towards safe, dark corners, but when exposed to the chemical, the shrimp were five times more likely to swim towards a bright region of water, the team discovered. The behavior makes them much more likely to be eaten by a predator, such as a fish or a bird. See, and, and this is what the public's like. They're like zombies on fluoride, which is a similar molecule to this. And the Prozac people are on. And that's why when they started death education federally in public schools in 1991, even 2020 did a report on this in, two, in 1994. I covered enough screenshots of it in uh, Police State 2, the takeover. They go in and they say, we're going to teach you eighth graders how to not commit suicide for a week-long class. And they show them videos of a girl strangling herself with her shoelaces. And then the little girl takes her shoelaces off. She's depressed. She's got zits. Her boyfriend broke up with her. She's 12 years old. She walks into the bathroom on the coat rack. And they just saw it. You know, they, they were taught how to do it. And, and they just hang themselves. And they're always on serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They're highly suggestible. 
You're like, why doesn't the public care? Why aren't they involved? Why don't they wake up? Why don't they get angry about the banks looting us? You're on fluoride. It makes you docile. It's the main ingredient in Prozac. It makes the shrimp and the frogs and the fish do the same thing. You're being chemically hit. It's 100%. Whether it's on purpose or not, and we know it's on purpose, but whether it's on purpose or not, this. Now, do you care about your family enough to wake up to it? Well, you can't. You're on fluoride of Prozac. So you can't. You can't. You've been chemically lobotomized. Be right back.